Synthetic cannabis, commonly known as spice, is a mixture of herbs similar to marijuana. However, there is one main difference. It's legal. It's sold under many names, such as K2 and Skunk, and has various side effects, including vomiting, seizures, and psychotic episodes. We spoke to drug user Chris Subham, who comes here to The Bridge Project. He told us about his experience of the drug Spice. I was introduced to Spice in prison, and then I've been, I got out of prison in March 2015, and found various places to get spice Again. Found it easy Again, to yeah. get it's very similar to cannabis um, but imagine cannabis about a million times stronger I'm not taking heroin I'm not taking crack I need to get it under control because it is bad it's or it's bad and I mean my stomach at the minute it's absolutely like a washing machine going round at 40 degree cycle. It's the strongest drug available to man on the market at the moment and it's legal. There's nothing legal about this drug. It smashes the back out of you. I've seen people laid on the floor having seizures, foaming at the mouth, having fits, like fish fish flapping out of water, like a fish out of water flapping about on the floor. I've seen lads at the end of landing in prison where you just put a right little tiny little bit in and they're barking like dogs. Drugs charity Project 6 here in Keithley told me all about the work that they do to help and support people who use legal highs. The main issue with legal highs that, that we think here at Project 6 is that people don't really know what they're getting. With, um, usually with illegal drugs, people have got dealers that they, they know, they tend to know what's out on the market. Legal highs, these drugs change over time, and therefore the effects can be quite unexpected. And that's some of the things that we're hearing from the young people who we're meeting at the moment. So yeah, young people that I'm working with currently are reporting swapping to legal highs in a bid to try and do something legal so they're not in trouble, thinking that the effects are going to be much weaker than illegal substances when in actual fact their experience have been quite the opposite, mm. quite extreme, blue lips, not being able to walk, not knowing where they're at, where they are. At the moment young people using legal highs wouldn't necessarily see themselves as the ideal customers for this type of organisation which is why people like Sarah are going out there and reaching out, out into the community to raise awareness. What we are starting to see are calls from concerned others, you know like a parent who's worried about their their, their child who they think might be using something, asking about signs and symptoms. So at the moment what we're trying to do very quickly is to put out as much information as we can and to say to people, the door is open, we can give you advice and information. Because effectively these drugs fall into, have the same effects as the, the main categories that we know about already. And so we'd be looking to work with people to give them the tools to make more um, sensible decisions or more informed decisions about what they actually decide to use and to be aware that uh, they've got no way of knowing really what's in these drugs um, but it's a big market and it's changing all the time. Legal highs are a growing problem for the police which is reflected through the number of incidents and crimes related to these types of drugs. These stats in West Yorkshire have leapt from 29 in 2012 to almost 500 in the last year. Despite new laws being brought in by the government to clamp down on legal highs, there is still a long way to go until this problem is truly resolved.